In the face of a rapidly growing global demand for energy, and among the various energy technologies being explored, nuclear energy stands out for its ability to produce large amounts of electricity with low greenhouse gas emissions. However, traditional nuclear power based on uranium-235 and plutonium-239 has significant drawbacks, including the risks of nuclear proliferation, radioactive waste, and catastrophic accidents. In response to these challenges, China is pioneering the development of the world's first thorium-based nuclear power plant. Thorium, a naturally abundant and slightly radioactive metal, has long been considered a promising alternative to uranium in nuclear reactors. Its potential to provide a safer, more efficient, and less environmentally harmful source of nuclear energy has captivated the attention of scientists and engineers for decades. Today let's delve into China's thorium-based nuclear power plant and examine its impact on the future of global energy production. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Thorium is a naturally occurring slightly radioactive metal that was discovered in 1828 by the Swedish chemist Jans Jakob Berzelius. Thorium is represented by the chemical symbol TH and has an atomic number of 90. It is a member of the actinide series of elements and shares some chemical similarities with uranium and plutonium, which are also used in nuclear reactors. One of the most notable characteristics of thorium is its abundance in the Earth's crust. Thorium is estimated to be about three to four times more abundant than uranium, making it a more sustainable long-term option for nuclear fuel. It is widely distributed in nature and can be found in small amounts in most rocks and soils. Significant deposits of thorium are found in countries like India, Australia, the United States, and Brazil, providing a more geographically diverse supply compared to uranium. This abundance ensures a more sustainable and long-term supply of nuclear fuel, reducing the geopolitical and economic pressures associated with uranium mining and processing. Thorium itself is not fissile, meaning it cannot directly undergo nuclear fission to release energy. However, when thorium-232, the most common isotope of thorium, is exposed to neutrons in a reactor, it absorbs them and transforms into uranium-233, a fissile material capable of sustaining a nuclear chain reaction. This process known as breeding is central to the use of thorium in nuclear reactors. Thorium offers several advantages over traditional uranium-based nuclear fuels, making it an attractive option for future nuclear energy production. A key advantage of thorium is its ability to produce less long-lived radioactive waste. Unlike traditional uranium-235 or plutonium-239 reactors, thorium-based reactors produce significantly lower quantities of long-lived transuranic elements, such as plutonium and americium, which are major contributors to the long-term radiotoxicity of nuclear waste. This reduction in hazardous waste makes thorium reactors a more environmentally friendly option. Safety is another critical advantage of thorium reactors. Thorium-based nuclear reactors operate at lower pressures and temperatures than conventional uranium reactors, reducing the risk of catastrophic failures such as meltdowns. Additionally, thorium reactors can be designed with inherent safety features, such as passive cooling systems and negative temperature coefficients, which further minimize the risk of accidents. These safety characteristics make thorium reactors a more attractive option for countries concerned about the potential consequences of nuclear accidents. Thorium-based reactors also have the potential to reduce the risk of nuclear proliferation. Unlike uranium-235 and plutonium-239, which can be used to produce nuclear weapons, uranium-233, the fissile material produced in thorium reactors, is more difficult to weaponize. This is due to the presence of uranium-232, a highly radioactive isotope that complicates the handling and processing of uranium-233 for weapons purposes. As a result, Thorium reactors offer a more secure and proliferation-resistant alternative to traditional nuclear technologies. 
China's decision to invest in thorium-based nuclear technology is part of its broader strategy to diversify its energy portfolio and reduce its reliance on fossil fuels. The country's interest in thorium technology can be traced back to the early 21st century when Chinese scientists began exploring the potential of thorium as a nuclear fuel. The development of thorium reactors in China has been driven by several key factors, including the country's abundant thorium resources, the need to reduce its dependence on imported uranium, and the desire to enhance the safety and sustainability of its nuclear energy program. One of the most significant milestones in China's thorium reactor development is the construction of the world's first thorium-based molten salt reactor which is set to begin in 2025, and the power plant will be built in the Gobi Desert. The innovative facility intends to reshape global energy with its high-end technology and prospects for a safer and greener nuclear power industry. Instead of uranium, this plant uses thorium as its fuel. Its reactor does not need water for cooling because it utilizes molten salt or carbon dioxide to transfer heat and make electricity. The use of molten salt as both the coolant and the fuel allows the reactor to operate at much lower pressures than traditional water-cooled reactors, reducing the risk of catastrophic failures. The thorium reactor is part of China's broader research and development program aimed at advancing thorium reactor technology. The project is also intended to demonstrate the feasibility of thorium-based MSRs for commercial electricity generation. If successful, the reactor could pave the way for the deployment of larger, more advanced thorium reactors in China and around the world. The successful development and deployment of thorium-based nuclear reactors could have profound implications for the global energy landscape. Thorium reactors offer a pathway to more sustainable, safe, and secure nuclear energy, which could play a crucial role in meeting the world's growing energy demands while addressing the challenges of climate change. One of the most significant impacts of thorium reactors is their potential to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Nuclear energy is already one of the lowest carbon energy sources available, and thorium reactors could further enhance the environmental benefits of nuclear power. By producing less long-lived radioactive waste and operating with inherent safety features, thorium reactors could gain broader public acceptance and play a more prominent role in the transition to a low-carbon energy future. Thorium reactors could also contribute to energy security by diversifying the global nuclear fuel supply. The abundance of thorium and its distribution in various countries reduces the geopolitical risks associated with uranium supply chains. This diversification could make nuclear energy more accessible to countries that currently rely on imported uranium, enhancing their energy independence and resilience. Furthermore, the development of thorium reactors could spur innovation in the nuclear industry and drive the adoption of advanced nuclear technologies. The research and development efforts associated with thorium reactors could lead to new breakthroughs in reactor design, material science, and nuclear fuel cycles. These advancements could benefit the broader nuclear industry by improving the safety, efficiency, and economics of nuclear power plants. However, the widespread adoption of thorium reactors is not without challenges. One of the primary obstacles is the need for significant investment in research and development to overcome technical and engineering challenges associated with thorium reactors. For example, the handling and processing of thorium fuel and the management of uranium-233, which is highly radioactive, require specialized technologies and infrastructure that are not yet fully developed. Another challenge is the need to build public and political support for thorium reactors. While thorium offers many advantages, the development of new nuclear technologies is often met with skepticism and opposition due to concerns about safety, nuclear waste, and proliferation risks. Public education and engagement will be crucial in building trust and support for thorium reactors as a viable energy option. Also, the commercialization of thorium reactors will require the development of a regulatory framework that addresses the unique characteristics of thorium technology. This includes establishing safety standards, licensing procedures, 
and waste management strategies that are tailored to thorium reactors. International collaboration and coordination will be essential in developing these regulatory frameworks and ensuring the safe and responsible use of thorium technology. China's leadership in thorium reactor technology is not only significant for its domestic energy strategy but also for the global nuclear industry. As one of the few countries actively pursuing thorium reactors, China has the potential to set the standard for future nuclear technologies and influence the direction of nuclear energy development worldwide. The successful commercialization of thorium reactors could open up new markets for nuclear energy, particularly in countries with limited uranium resources or concerns about the safety and proliferation risks associated with traditional nuclear technologies. China's pioneering efforts in this field could pave the way for a new era of nuclear energy, one that is safer, more sustainable, and more aligned with the goals of a low-carbon future. What are your thoughts on China building a thorium-based nuclear power plant? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.